Hi everybody. Uh, welcome to my very first YouTube tutorial. I've, I had a lot of questions about how I paint dragon eyes for some of my projects. Uh, here's some examples. They are uh, done with gel nail polish. Um, I think they work out really quite well. So here's a couple of pieces that I've made. So anyway, this is how I do it. Um, I bought these glass capuchons at Michael's. These ones are 24 millimeter. Um, they're flat backed in glass, so they are uh, completely bakeable. The gel polish, uh, this this one here is just uh, some stuff I got online, but you can find gel nail polish anywhere that works with either a UV lamp or um, LED lamp. I happen to have an LED lamp. works a little faster, but they both work. It's uh, compatible with polymer clay, somewhat in the same way that um, um, Lisa Pavelka's uh, Magic Gloss is. So I'm using today a uh, top coat, which is a clear, and a black. And then for the color of the, the uh, irises, I'm using the clear with different mica powders in it. You can use different colored gel polishes if you want to. Uh, something that's shimmery and sparkly uh, would work really well. But I, I actually find that, um, to bump it up a little bit, I was putting mica powders in anyways, and then I just tried it in the clear and it worked not, not badly at all. It's quite opaque, so, um, so you can build it up that way. Now, the way I start them is I, I find the best way is uh, to give yourself a little guideline. So I have this circle template here, and uh, I'll, I'll put the clear glass cabochon and find the, the template that fits it the best. And it helps to have a piece of lined paper. Uh, so you just line up your lines that are here and here with the lined paper. It gives you a bit of a guideline. So on the top surface, that's the surface you're not going to paint, but on the top surface, you take a magic marker and uh, just mark yourself the center to give you an idea where the pupil is. Uh, you can you can do it without. I did it without many times. Sometimes I'm a little bit off. Um, I really didn't find in a project it mattered that much because if the pupil is sl slightly off, if it's a dragon or something like that, he tends to look like he's looking um, out the side of his eye a bit, which can be a, quite a, a neat look. But anyway, so that's that's how how you start. So then. You're going to clean off the eye with uh, a little alcohol, a little wipe. Um, don't use alcohol on the, the dot on the outside. It'll remove it, so it's very easy to remove later. And the uh, nail polish. So I'm going to start with a black and shake it up thoroughly. And then some of the tools that you're going to use, um, you might want to use a needle tool. I do use a couple of brushes and little angled brushes are especially handy. Uh, some toothpicks maybe to move things around or to apply dots. Other than that, there's really not a lot of tools. So I'm going to start by <laughs> opening up the uh, polish. And apply a small amount right where my black dot is. get a little bit more. Uh, you have to keep one thing you have to keep in mind when you're doing these on the glass cabochon is everything seems to be magnified somewhat. So it's probably a good idea to make it slightly smaller than you think you want because it's going to look bigger when in the end. But anyway, so I'm going to get a little bit on here. And that's plenty. Then I'm going to take my brush and you can wipe down your brush with a little bit of alcohol. But it should be almost dry. And then 
Let's get these guys out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. So then I'll take my brush and I'll start to manipulate this bit of paint that I've got down here. And the nice thing about gel nail polish is it doesn't dry until you cure it. So you've got all the time in the world to work with it. So I'll pull it out a little bit. Pull it back a little bit. Wiping off the excess as I go. And you can pull off quite a bit of it and bring it out just as fine as you want it to be because like I said you've got all the time in the world to work with it Now I might not want that pupil to go all the way to the edge, so I'm just going to work the edge off. And you can always turn it around, have a look at it, see how it's starting to look. Get my edge there a little bit better. So you can either have your pupil with a fairly even line like that, just ignore the, the black dot on the outside, or sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll come in on the side and just kind of touch the edge and uh, blur the edge somewhat. And I kind of like the way that looks. It looks quite natural. It's almost as if it has a bunch of tiny little hairs coming off of it. zoom in on that a little bit okay so then once once you're happy with that you pop it into your uh, your light box mine is an LED and uh, and then you cure it for the recommended amount of time that the your uh, your machine will call for so if it's a UV light it would take a little bit longer LEDs tend to be a little faster mine cures for about 45 seconds so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that now Okay, so the eye iris uh, is cured. So now we're going to start working on the color. So I'm going to take a little bit of the top coat and uh, just put a little dab of it on a piece of plastic, whatever you want to mix it on with. And with a toothpick, I'm going to put a little gold mica powder in that. Now this one is Perlex and it's solar uh, oral solar so very pretty gold so you don't don't need much that's probably too much and so now what I want to do is apply some little dots um, that will show in, uh, over the iris color and you have to apply any little dots in, of that sort of nature before you actually put the main color of the eye so in order to do that I'm going to use a little needle tool that I made uh, and again like I said you want these smaller than you think they should be so oops, I got a little spot of mica powder so let's just wipe that off Okay, so I'm gonna actually dab. It's not gonna come off. Okay, tiny little dots. Try not. 
not to let that go on there for too long. I don't want too much coming off. I'm getting some little dots there. You could make these dashes, you could make them dots, whatever shape you want. If I can get it to come off of here. Okay, that's plenty. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this off now. So that can be cured again. And, and you're going to do this in stages. Do a little bit of color, cure it have a look at it. Um, if you end up at the end of this and you hate exactly what you've done, you can um, just take a little 100% acetone, soak it in there in a glass dish because it'll eat through a plastic dish, but in a glass dish and wipe it right off. Start over. So anyways, now we're going to go cure it again. Okay, and we're back. Now I'd also like having a few little tiny black specks in the eye. I find that adds a lot of realism. I could have done this at the same time as the uh, the gold ones without curing them in between. But, um, you know, this way you don't have to worry about messing up what you've done. So I don't really want too many of them, but a, a couple. I'm just going to take it off the brush. If I can get it to come off the brush, or not off the brush, but off the needle. So I'll cure that again. Do it a little bit at a time. It's the best way to do it. Okay, so that's cured. So now we're going to do another layer. And for this layer, I'm just going to do a little bit of a white pearl mica powder. So I'll mix a little bit of that into the clear. Any color choices are really up to you. You can do any kind of colors you want. I kind of like having uh, a few colors in the eye iris. Find it looks a little more realistic. And the white, I really kind of like having the white just kind of peeking out around the pupil. So I can apply it with the with a brush or with a toothpick. And so I'm going over top of my pupil and just going to have it peek out a wee bit. Then I'll have a look on the other side, see how I like it. Okay, then I'm going to feather it out a little bit with the, with the brush. And like I say, it's just personal choice what kind of colors you want to use. But using your own mica powders gives you pretty much unlimited choices. Yeah, that's not 
too bad. Now, if you want this color to blend a little bit better with your main color, we can go ahead and do some of our main color right now. So again, I'm going to put a little bit of clear down. And for this one, I've chosen to use Super Copper Pearl X. brush and keeping in mind that the um, pearl color is still wet I'm just going to come on the outside of the pearl color and brush it around those edges and let the two colors mix somewhat As I get closer to the edge of the eye, that's when I start working on a little piece of cardboard that will fit into my um, my light box. Because right now I can touch the edges of the eye, but as I get closer, I won't be able to touch the edges of the eye any. So then I'll flip that over, see how that's starting to look. Okay, so let's take a smaller brush, maybe blend it a little bit more. Like when you do these eyes, you have to think almost in reverse. So if I was doing a painting of a of a dragon, I would uh, probably I'd paint the pupil last. I'd paint the dots on top of the iris color. When you're doing them as a glass eye, though, you you do it the other way around. You start with the pupil, then you put the dots, and then you put the iris color. Whatever you want to see first, it has to pretty much go on first. Okay, that's starting to come. You can see how big those dots are, how magnified they were. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the rest of this Pearl X copper color on. And what doesn't cover in one coat, you can always put a second coat on and build it up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cure that. Okay, we're back. So I threw a little gold into my copper mix. I'm going to apply another layer. And uh, I'm also going to apply just a hint of black on the edges. It'll help give a little more depth. So we'll start with the black. And just apply it with a brush. So anywhere right now that there is no gel, this black is really going to show. And where there's already gel and mica, you won't even see it. So that's what I mean about making sure that whatever you want to show has to be done fairly, fairly early on and, and not after everything's covered. Okay, so that's plenty of black, so I'll wipe that off. And then I'm going to apply the mica powder 
which is a little golder than it was. And I'm not worried about going over the pupil or anything like that. If it, there's any thin areas, this will show through, which will be quite nice. And I'm just going to take that brush and sort of work those edges a wee bit. Okay, that has to be cured one more time. Okay, so that layer is cured. Now for the last layer, I don't know if it's necessary, but I always do it. Um, I put a layer of black right over top of the whole, whole eye. Um, I find if I do it, it seems to have a little bit more depth than if I don't do it. So that can just be applied with the brush that comes with the nail polish. Trying to get right to the edge without having to handle it too much, but that makes it difficult. Okay. So now I'll pick up the whole thing and pop it in the uh, light again. Give it a full cure. Sometimes I, I'll cure it for two, uh, like mine takes 45 seconds, so I'll, I'll do it twice. Then when that's finished, uh, you can just wipe off the back. It'll be a little sticky. So wipe off the back with some rubbing alcohol, and then I'll flip it over and I'll cure it again from the front. Um, I find that really seems to help. So here it is, all cured ready to be used in a project. So I really hope that you enjoyed my first YouTube tutorial, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.